Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a review and swatch video of my Napoleon Purtis Divine Goddess lipsticks. Everyone really liked my YSL lipstick video, so I'm going to do this series of all the lipsticks that I sort of collect a little bit. So I collect the Napoleon Purtis lipsticks, the YSL, um, some Rimmel, I've got a lot of NYX, um, and Australis. So I want to do them for like all of them and then move on through eyeshadows and blushes and stuff like that. So the Napoleon Purtis Divine Goddess lipsticks are uh, pretty much, I think that's their main lipstick range. They've got 21 colors and I've only got seven of them, but I want to definitely increase that collection. So something that I love about these lipsticks is the packaging. They've got a really nice luxurious packaging, which is this um, see-through or clear tube in a square shape which makes it really easy to stack but it's also got a very visible color at the bottom and the top so when they are sort of organized it's really easy to tell which color is which then there's the gold tube like that you can see through it's I, it's like ingenious packaging. If I was to create a lipstick I would do something like this. I've got some of the new packaging here and then some of my older ones which is really frustrating to me that they don't match so I'm probably gonna have to go and like switch them out for new ones soon just to keep my mind at ease but yeah so I've got seven colors and I love them all these lipsticks retail for $35 and you can get them from Napoleon Perda stores counters and David Jones and Maya I think they sell them at both David Jones and Maya um, and there's 21 colors as I said before and they've all got different finishes so I'm going to um, go through each of the ones that I have and then give a little review and demo of each one. So let's get started and I was gonna I organize these. I'm gonna start with this one which was one of my first colors. This is the Divine Goddess Hara lipstick and it's in the old packaging and I think the new packaging is better because this one has like a little sticker, not sticker but it's like painted or something and it sort of rubs off after some time. But this is an orange red lipstick and I have used it in tutorials before but now summer's coming in I love this color. So it's a hot red and this is a really matte lipstick so it's almost a little bit hard to put on but when it's on it's very highly pigmented and um, matte so as obviously it's matte but it's like massively matte but you can of course put a lip gloss over the top it's very comfortable and extremely long wearing on the lips but when you put on I find that it's like a bit hard it's also almost a little bit um, easier to use it with a brush but yeah this is a really nice color Hara and then one of my newest colors is Aphrodite and it's from the new Cinderella range I think uh, it's a deep deep red and it's more like it's like a flat color let's say it's a creamy finish I guess it's got a bit of shine but I actually find that it's not it's not as pigmented as the mattes so it required a little bit more layering to get it up to full color but it glides on very easily and it stays on pretty well, not as good as the mattes, but um, it's a really nice color and it's perfect for Christmas time, I think. And I like that it's sort of customizable so you can, um, you know, have it as a little bit of a lighter red or you can really layer it to get a full rich color. Um, it's, it's a really nice blood, blood red shade. Really nice. Really nice, really nice. I said really nice too often. Okay, then this is the Calypso lipstick and this one's really new. It's like a purpley pink color. And it's hot. I love it. And this one is another creamy matte shade. I shouldn't really say creamy matte shade because that's not possible. It's a creamy shade and it stays on really well. It's actually really pigmented. Um, so it sort of has a similar finish to the Aphrodite but it's much more long wearing and a little bit more... It's a little bit more on the matte side. Oh, I'm not even making sense here. But... Um, yeah, it doesn't have any shimmer in it, it's just a flat color, and it's a really, really nice, quite unique color. Looks good on dark skins, that shade. Now I'm on to this lip color, which I'm actually wearing on my lips before you all ask. I'm wearing Electra, and then this gloss, which is Luminous Lip Veil in the Flesh, again by Napoleon Purtis. So this color is like a fleshy pink shade, and I love this. Again, it's like a creamy finish. It's very thick and very pigmented and um, doesn't take much to get a really nice color. I love it on its own but I especially like it with the gloss because it just makes my lips look so full. It's a perfect pink shade for my lips to sort of tone them down and nude them a little bit. Really nice for summer or winter. It's such a nice color and it's really long wearing. It's so pretty. And then this is the first one that I ever bought. It's called Hess and it's by Napoleon. Um, but as you can see I've used a lot I got this a long time ago it was my favorite lip color like it was my first pinky nude 
lip product probably in the whole world or one of them and so this is actually a shimmery color it's very similar to the one that I've got on my lips right now but it's a little bit more it's so similar to the color I've got on now but it's got a like a pearl finish to it it's shimmery a little bit and it looks really nice I find they all smell really nice too, a bit like cake. And it lasts you ages, like I use this all the time and because it is so pigmented, um, you don't need as much. And I'm only up to there, so I've only got to replace it soon. So that's a really nice colour. And another really cool colour by Napoleon is the Nikki colour. And this is a really pretty peach. This one's got a bit of a veil feel to it. It's not quite as pigmented, but it's got a really nice finish. It's quite natural, good for every day, but you can still load it up and get a really high high coverage. It's a bit more of a like a, a gloss feel to the lips. And there is some shimmer and pearly uh, stuff through it, so it reflects light really well. Yeah, I really, really like this color. I love these colors for summertime. Oh my god, it matches my nails. So cool. And last is Demeter, and this is... Probably one of my favorites. It's my favorite nude or one of my favorite nudes in the world. It's a very dark nude So it's like darker than my skin and all that. I find it works best when I've got a fake tan or when I am tan in summertime It's called Demeter if I didn't already say that and this is a really matte shade Similar sort of thing like when I put it on Actually, this one's more creamy. I think it's a little bit more creamy. So it's not as hard to put on as um, Hess Hara, Hara. It stays so well. I don't know what it is about this color, but I love it. And Oh, look, I'm sort of getting toward the end. I might need to sort of stock up on this, but um, yeah, I really love this color so much. It's got a very nice creamy matte finish. You do not need much of it. It's very pigmented, so it's perfect. And I love to layer a pink lip gloss over the top, like um, Revlon Bellini or this one in the flesh over the top. Um, yeah, that's all my collection already done. Oh my God, only eight minutes. But yeah, I really, really like these lipsticks and let me know what colors you've got if I don't have them in this, in this little pot here, pot, because I do want to try more. A lot of the time I find Napoleon's like sold out, especially because I usually go to the counter at David Jones. So, um, yeah, I gotta fix myself up because I'd love to fill these two empty spots. <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching and let me know if you want to see one of these colors in a tutorial. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.